Hello and a very warm welcome to the Grassroots Weekender Show. Friday already, day and me, the weeks are totally flying. I'm sure you're going to agree with me, even though you're all in lockdown. Or are we all in lockdown? This is the question I keep asking. Um, because you can only have to walk outside and everyone's still doing what they're doing. That's my honest opinion anyway. Um, and hopefully uh, looking at the news um, rounds and the feedback that we're getting, I'm sure that we're finding that the kids are going back to school on March the 8th. And I'm sure you kids out there are really looking forward to it. Well, I, I can't say I am, but I'm sure you are. If you're locked in, locked down, then I'm sure you can't wait to go back and see your friends and get things done and keep on the move a little bit. But um, I'd love to know off your kids. Malatontextheline.com. Are you really looking forward to going back to school? Your thoughts, please. Okay, um, just a few bits that I want to go through here today. Um, I was talking, you know, about my media, the new person in our lives. We've done cross the line, Shannon. Shannon Baines, who's coming in to, um, well, photography, media, editing. Can't wait. Bit of an expert. She's only 20 as well. Absolutely fantastic. And she's coming on board with DXTL and we're going to improve things as we go along. Well, Shannon has also requested that she wants to interview me. And she's been poorly the last couple of weeks, but she's okay. Thankfully, it was just about a flu, as they say. Um, not a problem. Shannon's been in touch with me. And she's saying that she'll be in touch when she's ready to interview me, which won't be long. And I asked for a sneak pre preview of the questions. And Shannon... So I've got no chance of that one. So I don't know what to expect, to be honest. That is coming along, I must admit. So I'm really looking forward to the questions. Or am I? I'm not too sure. Anyway, again, Paul, I've got to mention Paul Rookin. Thanks very much for the, um, I think he's got a massive large ball that he's picking up from the shop. He was asking me, am I all right? Well, I'll go into detail about yesterday in a minute. And also one of these rollers. Um, I've got a plastic roller to roll the body out. Sounds mad. And I think you need a, a sponge one as well. I've not seen the sponge ones yet. Um, but just need to roll the bodies out and that's what it is. Just gets the muscles flexing a little bit better than what they normally can do. And also to Sophie and Matt, all the thank yous and the likes as well for all the posts that we do pull out and the, the, the work behind the scenes. Can't thank you all enough. Thank you very, very much. Now I've had Gordon Johnson from the Liverpool County FA on to me. Now Gordon, as we all know, Gordon is leaving the County FA. I think he's left. But he's got more work on than when he was working there, to be honest. And Gordon's asked me to give a little mention out to a few little things that's going on. And obviously I've agreed to. I'll be, I'll be mixed up with the County FA. I know that. I know for a fact. I'm not wearing the coat. Look, I've got no LCFA badge on me. Know what to do anyway i'm really pushing this for you god because you've asked me to simple as that it's all about safeguarding um well welfare officers what the liverpool county fa are up to so you can think you see things are coming back to life a little bit better than what they were do people are starting to think ahead now so this is a little bit of promotion on aces training and uh, we'll we go to that aces training in a minute because um gordon is on um Online training and there's, there's workshops all free on there for the LC, LCFA and it's Adverse Childhood Experience and Sloma um, in fund practice, I think. Be fund practice, I'm getting all that wrong. Um, Zoom, well, there's all Zoom meetings anyway. Now, information um, will be on the Liverpool County FA website. It's got me laughing his head off at me now because I've wrote loads down and you know, you can't read your own writing. And I've forgotten all about what it was. Anyway, it's um, Adverse Training and Informed Practice. I think I've got that. I think I just read my own writing. God, sorry about that, but you got a little bit extra anyway because I made a mistake and I've got to reverse it now and get it in. So, so that is on the Zoom on Monday the 15th of February, 1430 to 1600. And as I say, you can get all the information if you go onto the Liverpool County FA website. And they've also got ACES Training and that's on offer to Club Welfare Officers. They're free two-hour workshops. They're on offer to Merseyside clubs for managers, coaches, welfare officers, volunteers, and all involved in safeguarding. 
So just check out the County FA website and I'm sure if you get in touch with Gordon, he'll be made up, he can book you in and get you on the workshop. So there you go, ACES training and we've also got the adverse uh, childhood experiences and the welfare uh, experience for you for the trauma informed practice. There you go. Okay, good. Done that for you. And he's given all the free biscuits out as well. He told me to inform you that one as well. So don't worry about it. And he can make the tea. Gordon will make the tea for you as well. But he can't. What's the use? They're all workshops. They're all Zoom. Ah, never mind. Anyway, when we get Gordon in here, he can do that for me. So there you go. Thanks very much, Gordon, for all your information. And I'm sure that will help you all out there in the Liverpool County FA. But as I say, I'll always read out and I'll always get involved with Liverpool County FA. And I'm sure Gordon has got a few plans for me in the future. I know what he's like. Okay, you can check out that F County FA website and get all your information downloaded on there as well. Now, I don't know whether you've been noticing, I noticed the other day, I, I just saw it in the newsreel, uh, I've been practising this, God, you can practise it as well because I know you're into your day um, you're jogging a little bit now, there's little slight maps coming on there. Mm, your apps are all about running, little workouts, and you're doing pretty well, to be honest. I know you're just getting yourself back in the swing of things. You will be ready for the 28th of March. Whether I'm going to be ready for the 28th of March after seven, eight months of training, I am not too sure. Anyway, Jerusalem, or Jerusalem, whichever you look at it, by Master KG. Has anyone seen it? Has everyone seen the beat? Now, it's probably a bit of a mixture of lion dance, and everyone's doing their own dances. But the whole world is having a go at each other, kids, the whole lot from kids to fire services to hospitals to nurses and doctors. Everyone is taking part in this group dancing, to be honest, even on holidays. I don't know where those holiday makers were. If you Google it or you go onto YouTube, have a little look. There's hundreds, hundreds taking part of it. I wonder where all those people are in lockdown. Anyway, it's a, a dance craze. It's a simple dance craze and the music ain't too bad either. So I was having a little go with myself the other day and I, do you know what, I was shattered. I was more shattered than doing this walk that I did yesterday, would you believe it? So there's a little challenge going on to you kids out there as well. Jerusalem, please from Master KG, have a little look at it on YouTube. I'm sure you'll, once you see it, you'll get into the swing of things. Now you football teams out there, come on, let's throw a challenge out. Let's everyone start going on online, social media and having a go at Jerusalem, um, I'm miles away me, I must admit, because I've got two left feet when it comes to dancing, absolutely no good whatsoever. But I'd love to see the kids get involved because they pick it up really, really quickly indeed. And put it towards your football, getting your kids all do it at home and have a little challenge yourself because there's no grassroots football teams doing it. So come on, force yourself, Jerusalem, Google it, have a look on YouTube, and start practicing. And I'm sure Tom out there will be right onto that one because he's pretty good. He has a little sing song. And I'm sure most of you kids out there will start doing this. Send it all into maratontextheline.com. Let's get them on social media. Let's share them and get some smiling going because I'm sure you'll all have fun with that one. Sophie, Paul, and Matt, you three together look really, really good at Jerusalem. Have a look at it. Come on, let's see what you can do. And I know Sophie's always on social media doing that sign language. Absolutely brilliant what you're doing there, so as well. Now then, yesterday, wow, what a tiring day. Um, it was just probably, wasn't pre-planned, well it was really, maybe a couple of days notice. Because as you all know, I'm doing a marathon run on the 28th of March, fingers crossed, that I'm going to be ready for it. I'm not 100% certain that I'm going to do this, because after yesterday, we had a gruelling test and that was to walk from Warrington to Liverpool. Started the walk at uh, 5 to 6 in the morning, nice and dark, but it was a nice day, cold day, throughout the day. And we finished at um, well, 8 hours 33 minutes later, so you can work that out, can't you? And it was gruelling to say the least. And in between we done Facebook Live and I can only thank every one of you out there who liked, who shared, who, who's thanked me. And, and congratulated me on doing this walk. Now, it was a walk, um, so I shouldn't really deserve any congratulations, but when I got out the car from getting me left home yesterday from Liverpool Town Hall, because we started 
at Warrington Town Hall, Golden Gate, and finished at Liverpool Town Hall. All the gates are locked, by the way. I'm sure they'll be open on the 28th of March and see what we can do by getting the Lord Mayors involved in this one. It'd be nice if we can, if we manage it. But um, it was grueling, it really was, and it was tough, and I wasn't jumping through hoops at the end of it. You saw me there, and I apologise, by the way, because of the sound on the videos, the Facebook Live videos. Obviously, we'll have to get that right. We won't be doing that walk again, so we won't get that one right. But please, we accept our apologies. I was going mad really because you, you want to hear it. We did not know um, that the phones have got to be a little bit closer and we're trying to shout over traffic as well because the roads are very busy, very, very busy. You could see that, hear that. And it was just trying to keep everyone informed of where we were, what we were up to and how the walk was going. Well, the walk was going okay, obviously towards the end. That was absolutely grueling. So that was where you start biting your nails time because we know what to expect and we didn't expect the hills because we drove around it in a car and we wanted to get the route exactly right. So we drove around it in the car and we thought we're going to have to walk this as well. And lo and behold, we did walk it, we did go over. That's us. You wouldn't believe us, would you? Anyway, it was I think it was um, 26.4 when it should have been 26.2. So we had to do two apps to where we started and finished. You'll see the photographs where I've got an entry in Tail Street, <coughs> excuse me, and a shop. That was just to give us the marker for the full distance for when we finished. And then we just carried on walking to the town hall. Now we're not too sure where we can get that point two off. If we're all feeling up to it, we'll just carry on to the Liverpool Town Hall. I don't know whether we're feeling up to it because we want to stop ASAP, like we did yesterday, but you've got to force yourself. Now this is just a walk. Boy, you took it out of us because, as I say, when I got a lift home there, I could not get out of the car. Just about got out of the car. Driver helped me get my bag out. And it was, honestly, it was it was hard to explain just because we were sitting down in that car. I've done a few stretches throughout the day when we were stopping at traffic lights because you have to because of the cars. don't know why we're going to do that when we're coming to the run unless the police help us out. It'd be brilliant if they can just stop a car now and again. It'll only take us 30 seconds to get across these roads, it'd be brilliant. Saves so you stop because once you stop, you can't get going again, it's the hardest thing in the world. And it was exactly the same when we were walking. It was hard, we had to try and keep ourselves going and then force ourselves, but you were feeling it when you'd stopped, especially on the drive there and coming through to Liverpool Football Club and then going round to Everton. But where we go, we turn, we come through the drive, we turn up Hunting Avenue, we go around Liverpool Football Club and we come back on ourselves around Goodison Park. I think everyone knows where we're coming from, from Stanley Park, on Merseyside that is. And then, rather than going into town, we go back away from town towards the Geoffrey Hummel, where they're all playing football. So we, that's where we all congregate weekends when the grassroots football is on. We walk past there and then we go to Walton Vale Race Lane and then we head off back into town after County Road. Now it's grueling because the hills come into it, especially rice lane and that's going to be the run that's going to be a real real difficult time but thanks very much to the people in Walton Vale who were shouting to us and saying you're doing some mileage well done who we were obviously watching Facebook live and knowing where we were up to and it was really really nice because it empties on a little bit more it gives you more inspiration and it, it encourages to go on knowing that people are watching so when someone shouts that to you you get a bit of excited and just like the likes and the shares we can't thank it all enough and the comments absolutely brilliant and i think it was um close to 200 on one of the videos but every video has been viewed and as i say I apologize for the sound I wanted to get that across more because we'll probably get more videos because people just switch it off when they can't hear it i know that but we give the gist of things i think you you all got on to what we were doing where we were going to where we were up to and do you know when we do the run it'd be lovely to, to know now that people are seeing that we can go oh that's right by ours we'll have the kids out because the bucket collectors will be coming with us. <coughs> I don't expect the bucket collectors to run, by the way, but um, I'm sure they'll be running off if you've got a £10 note in there and put it out in a bucket. So we're hoping to raise a lot more funds on that day. Fingers crossed, as I say, it goes ahead. And fingers crossed, we are right, because as I say, I'll hold my hands up and I'll just say to you, I'm worried, I'm worried to say the least. A couple of us were there yesterday to wonder whether we can do that. And you know, you see these chaps who are doing 
marathon run seven in seven days. My God, hats off to you all. Hats off to anyone who does a marathon, half a marathon, a walk, because it really brought it home to us what we're going to be facing on the 28th of March, and it's going to be rather frightening, to say the least. I'm worried, yeah, I'm very, very worried, but at the end of the day, I'm committed. I've got passion. That will hopefully get me through. It's the body that I'm worried about getting me through because I can't control that. And if that won't allow me, I just won't get through. And I'm just hoping my body doesn't give out on the day. And the other runners as well, they'll be hoping the same things. But I know they're all in, into training now. And fingers crossed, they've got niggly knocks and knee strains like they all have. But they're plodding on and they're pushing themselves through it and they're going through the pain barrier. And boy, you can't thank anyone going through the pain barrier enough. Thanks very much, lads, for jumping on with us. And I'm sure if we can all promote each other and push each other on and inspire each other, I'm sure we'd get through it somewhere. And there's a couple of marathon runners with us. So I'm sure they're going to be our hope throughout the day. But it all depends what's in here and what that is telling the body. And people say, listen to your body. But unfortunately on that day, I think we're all going to ignore our bodies and force our way through to the 28th of March and the marathon from Walt Warrington Town Hall to Liverpool Town Hall. Fingers crossed we get through that one. Anyway, massive thanks to Sharon Mather as well. Um, we're doing the... Um, she's donating as well. She was messaging me late last night and I had a lot of emails last night and I had a lot of messages, as I can assure you. But I also had to promote our youth project with the young commentators and I'm getting in touch with the kids because we have a Zoom earlier tonight, early on tonight, and we're just introducing ourselves to the, the parents, to the kids, just getting a little feel of things and letting them know what the um, programme is going to be all about. And it's going to be exciting times for you kids, I assure you. And we'll give a little bit more details away to you because you'll be part of the group there tonight. And I think we did have one person who pulled out last night. So there's always places available and we'll pick them up as we go along because we've got loads of celebrities there, I assure you, all lining up to be interviewed at the end of your course from our young commentators. And you can go out with us then, commentate on grassroots games, because it'll all be back on come April, March, whatever it is. We're looking forward to that. All getting back together, just checking the time, folks. Dear me, I haven't been talking as much, but we've got plenty of time, so the new project we're looking forward to. And the kids are going to be excited because we want to feel how they feel about it as well tonight and what they're going through, the experiences of COVID-19. We'll ask about that tonight uh, because we know they're all stuck in the house and they all seem to be very, very keen as well. And we've got the likes of Liverpool and Everton who will get on board as well, so we'll send them an email next week once we've had this Zoom meeting and we know they're keen to get some kids on, on board as well, so we'll have a separate Zoom meeting. And when they come into the studio, fingers crossed, they're going to be loving it. They're going to be loving this. They're going to be loving the workshops. Excuse me. And we're just going to be loving Exciting to get involved with the kids and show them. And they can show us what they're going to learn and do together. So Wayne is all geared up for it. Wayne McPartland as well. The kids are going to love him. And the ideas that we've got in the future are going to be immense for the kids. Um, even the kids who are going into, or well, think they're going into universities, Honestly, get on one of the courses that we're going to be looking at in the future and have a little listen. And I'm sure you will be a little bit more excited about leaving school as well. Not just all about universities, you know. If we can save you money, I'll jump in and listen to us and show you. Okay, we've got um, one minute left of the show on our first show back on this weekend, Friday. My God, there's no football, we know that, but the weather has been atrocious. It's going to be atrocious again, what the sound of things are. It's going to be heavy snow and the temperatures are going to drop and get us all freezing cold. Well, that's what they tell us anyway. Let's just hope we escape that. I don't want that. So, whatever you are, I hope it's not too severe for you. And I hope that each and every one of you survived this weekend with glee, with everyone excited, saying, nah, they didn't come. It was a nice warm weekend. And with another weekend closer to grassroots football returning and people getting back to a little bit more normality, just like the Isle of Man, what I saw the other day. Dear me, everyone was back together, no masks, everyone was shopping, everyone was out, everyone was talking, everyone was shaking hands. I don't know about cuddling, but it was all back in the Isle of Man. Check that one out if you haven't seen it. Put it on the news, Google it, and it's all back to normal. It looked a little bit more exciting. 
and things are moving, you can see it all, you can feel it all, and I'm sure you're all a little bit more confident for the next month as well. But kids back to school March the 8th. I'm sorry about rubbing that in, kids. Any information that you'd like us to hear about, Mallet, don't text the line.com, add me as a friend on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all the social network sites, please. But in the meantime, we're going to love you, we're going to leave you, and we're going to be back again tomorrow evening at 7 pm. Thank you very much indeed for all the support once again for my walk yesterday from Warrington to Liverpool. Is successful, still feeling it, not as bad, a little bit more excited, but I'll be exercising and get myself out of it. And who knows, might just be a two or three mile run on Sunday. I'm not too sure at the moment. See you tomorrow at 7 pm. So, for myself, Mal Lee, and all the team here at the Grassroots Show, don't cross the line and respect programme. Have a great evening. Good night. God bless. See you tomorrow at 7.